Stakeholders in Nigeria's energy sector have underscored the critical importance of strategic planning in addressing the growing global energy demand. As the world grapples with energy challenges, experts have emphasized the need for deliberate actions to ensure a sustainable and prosperous future, citing deep water exploration and production as a priority. Let's join our energy correspondent for details. Chief Executive Officer of the Nigeria Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, Engineer Benga Kumulafe, advocated for a national focus on deep water exploration and production. He said, by prioritizing this segment, Nigeria can tap into its offshore resources more effectively, enhancing energy security and economic growth. Investment, that is CAPES, investment in renewables, is far outpacing that of the fossil fuel. In fact, uh, based on the uh, IEA projections that investment in uh, uh, renewable energy is almost uh, doubling that of uh, fossil fuel. But regardless, regardless of that, the uh, focus or importance is that fossil fuel will continue to be relevant up to 2045 and beyond, and as a nation, we need to focus in uh, the development of our deep offshore uh, exploration. Country Chairman and Managing Director of Total Energies Nigeria, Mr. Matthew Boyer, sheds light on the lack of progress in the deep water sector over the past decade. He attributes this stagnation to several factors, including a shortage of contractors, intense competition, and high operating cost. He said addressing these challenges is crucial for unlocking the potential of deep water resources. Uh, there are, it's not a problem for, of resources, either human capital or, or oil and gas. You have plenty of resources every, everywhere, already discovered or yet to be discovered. So it's not a problem of, this, uh, of resources. It's a problem of uh, how to make those resources out of the ground, to deliver projects. Um, you know, if you look at the uh, history, if we are one of the uh, players in deep offshore with, uh, with two FPSOs, um, uh, there is no uh, FID, uh, significant FID taken in Nigeria since 2013. It was EGINA, one of our projects, and it started up in 2019, five years ago. So there is a clearly an urgency to, uh, to change things, to make this investment and this FID uh, being back uh, in the country. Chairman of the Independent Petroleum Producers Group, Mr. Abdurazak Isa, echoes the need for sustained efforts to ensure the long-term sustainability of Nigeria's oil and gas industry by proactively addressing concerns and investing in strategic initiatives the sector can thrive and contribute to the nation's development despite our world-class hydrocarbon resource base with over 37 billion barrels of proven crude oil reserves and 207 TCF and 600 TCF of proven and contingent gas reserves respectively, we find ourselves in a situation where our daily production has significantly dropped and lies at about 1.3 million barrels plus 200,000 barrels of uh, condensate and 8.5 BCF of gas today. This is way below our capacity as a nation and by all globally acceptable standards, these reserves to production ratio is extremely low and a clear indicator that the country is in a dire situation. These insights emerged during the recently concluded Nigeria Oil and Gas Week, where industry leaders emphasized the importance of global investment in the oil and gas sector. Joycelyn Ella Keche Ada, ADBN News.